Yeah, Wednesday. What's up, everybody? Wednesday morning. Welcome to today's edition of the Daily Market Commentary. I'm your host, Chuck Fulkerson. I hope everybody had a great, great Tuesday as we are about to kick our middle of the week edition of the Daily Market Commentary off in style um, as we are seeing the market still continue to come down from our highs um, and seeing a bit of weakness. So let's go ahead and dive in. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor. Click the subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell. Throw the uh, throw the, uh, the the thumbs up on there, the icon. It really means a lot. Push that like button. Smash it. Do that thing. Well, they, they call it smash the button. So please do that. All right, let's get started. All right, so S&P. Um, looking at this on a daily chart. I want to go to a daily for a few minutes. And the reason I want to go to the daily is because we we did come below this area of support. Now, old resistance oftentimes acts as new support, and we have been able to get below there. And as of yesterday, we closed below there twice. And so we've still not put in, believe it or not, a lower, a truly lower swing low, although we did get lower than this swing low here. And so I'm, I'm wondering if we're going to put in a lower swing low as well as a lower swing high. Now, notoriously, September it can be rough on the markets. There can be a little bit of a pullback. And so we're not losing our minds feeling like the markets are going to come crashing down. Um, but we do have to be a little bit more cautious heading into September, October. We're sitting right on a rising trend line um, for the daily chart. So uh, this would be an interesting time to see if we do get a little bit of a bounce off of what has been a pretty a pretty strong trend line. If you can see, we've hit that line a number of occasions. Um, if if we were to throw an indicator on here, let me throw my moving average on here. Um, looking at our 50-period moving average, we're sitting right between the 20 and the 50-period moving average, which is also known as the bull area. So sitting here at the bull area, waiting for a potential uh, rally up from this region. So I'm still not ready to, you know, switch gears and say, oh, time to be bearish, because we've we've seen pullbacks between this 20 and 50 the whole way up, right? Matter of fact, we even got a couple of times that we, we poked a slight bit below the 50, um, only to see the market continue to rally back higher. So... My job is not to prognosticate where it's going to go. My job is to look at the market and, and react to what it gives me. So from, a, from a, a, a more of a day trader, swing trader perspective, it's actually giving me a pretty good opportunity to look at a potential long once I get a reversal candlestick and I get something with a higher high. So a good example of that would be this area here right? We got a reversal candlestick pattern, and then we got a higher high, and then boom, moved higher for a number of days. Um, if I look at, you know, any of these pullbacks, you sometimes will see these reversal candlestick patterns that then lead into higher highs. What about for the intraday opportunities for day trading? Well, for smaller time frame trades, we are definitely in a four hour big picture downtrend if we're using the four hour and we're looking for, for, for intraday opportunities. On Monday, we had looked at a potential breakdown below this 44.45 if we got quality basing. Notice we did not get quality basing. We po poked below it and then popped right back up. Now, our 15-minute supply level that we had talked about did certainly work for a nice move down from that region, and we leave that level in as a confirmation entry for the next time we would come back to that region. Um, and so now that area that we that we were looking at as a as a potential breakdown trade, I think could serve as a resistance if price comes back to this region here. We make that purple because it's a fifteen minute level, and we always do fifteen minute levels a little bit uh, a different color so that we know what we're dealing with. And so that would be a retest. Um, back into this 44, 44, 44, 47 area, um, maybe 44, 49 actually is where your stop would be. On an hourly chart, that's not a super huge level. It's a fairly small level, and it's not a, not a, 
not a, you know, it's not a, a world mind blowing zone, but I think if we make it below this area here, there's a good chance that we go all the way down to this 4386. Next, the NASDAQ. Looking at our NASDAQ level, very similar picture, although not as clean on the supply area. We are coming closer to the demand area down below here, where we could see a bit of a bounce, which was the origin of this move higher. Um, so in looking at that origin of this move higher, we are basing a little bit in front of that level. So with the basing in front of the level, this has to switch to a confirmation entry for sure. And it's in a downtrend anyway on the hour on the four hour chart. If I go to the 15 minute, kind of like we did with the S and P, um, there is a potential little reversal right here for a day trade off of this level. Next, moving to crude oil. So looking at crude oil, we had. Look at, looking at this, we had talked about a potential breakout above this line. We we did get a bit of basing uh, up in here, right there, and we got a little bit of a move above and then a bit of a pullback, but six candles later, it had kind of gone nowhere, right? Telling us that it was kind of a meh on the breakout opportunity. And so looking at a pullback, the the one that is cleanest is this area right here, which was right at the end of the market yesterday. And so that would be getting below the Globex low, a little bit of a, of a, of a trap, right? A little bit of a Globex trap that sets itself up right here. Um, and the reason that it's a Globex trap is because if we get below the Globex low, there's a pretty decent area of demand sitting there waiting. I don't know that that's going to happen uh, you know, today. Uh, I'm going to leave that level intact. On a 15-minute scale, this area here is pretty clean. So you've got a 15-minute level uh, as well as a one-hour level, both prevalent. And then the last one would be gold. And we talked on, on Monday about some gold areas. And we had 15-minute level right in here. Unfortunately, we came really close to it without getting in twice and so it had to be a confirmation entry the hourly level gave us a little bit of a hit and a move away but it's not really moved away all that well i'm going to leave the level here switch it to a confirmation because it's been touched um and then looking at this on a four hour we'd have to look at a break below this area in here on a much smaller time period call it a 15 minute chart there's a lot of over, you know, this this big movement here that's been overly exaggerated. It's just a one big move up. We typically anticipate that those areas would be retraced, right? Speed candles, we call that a speed candle. Speed candles tend to get retraced, and price has a good possibility of coming back down there and retesting that area. That being said, I've got no entry to trade it down to there unless I get some basing right here in front of this 1800 area. All right. So those are our four levels that I think make the most sense looking at for today. Um, I think that there's going to be a lot of opportunity with bull area stocks. But in the meantime, I'm going to look at a bear position and I'm going to go to Baba. Um, Alibaba Group uh, is one that we've looked at before. And when I say I've looked at it before, I've looked at it, we've looked at it on a number of occasions as it's come back to supply areas, it's getting given us breakdown opportunities. Well, I think it could be setting up for another breakdown opportunity um, below this region here. And if you don't get the setup, the, the, the basing to allow for a breakdown, you know, I like to look at this one on a weekly chart because the weekly chart tells me a really good picture of, of really what's happening. If we don't get the breakdown, and let's say we get a little bit of a pop back up, look to this area here for a potential reversal on the, on the weekly, although I think that the better chance is that we're just going to break down from here with price falling. If I look at the implied volatility on this, 
Uh, we are in the middle portion of our range as volatility continues to, to, to rocket up. So I think you could easily do some sort of a, uh, a bull put spread or even a bear call spread for price just to stay below a certain amount, right? I mean, if I look at this and say, what if I could just get paid for price to stay below a certain area? Um, for the next 30 days, right? We'll, we'll, could I get paid for price just to stay below 175 for the next 30 days? Well, a bear call spread would be the way that we would trade that, right? The 175 by 180 bear call spread is a $5 spread paying a 91 cent credit, which means that if we were to do the math on this, it's 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 tying up about four dollars and ten cents in our account, um, or, and and so point nine one divided by four dollars and ten cents is roughly a twenty percent rate of return, um, and that's a twenty percent rate of return for price to stay below one seventy five, meaning the market can move up, the market can move down, the market can move sideways, and you've still got a decent, uh, you know, a, a pretty good a pretty good. Uh, Argument there for that 175 by 180 bear call spread. If you want a slightly bigger credit, then you widen out your spread. 175 by 185 would get you a, a slightly bigger credit, but you certainly then have more exposure, right? So you've got to determine what is your risk tolerance and understanding what these um, what these these call spreads can do for you are a pretty useful tool. But that's all I have for today, everybody. If you guys have any questions, as always, send me an email, support at tradersarmy.com. Till tomorrow, I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Hey, thanks for joining us. If you like what we do, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's the only way the computers know that you're actually alive and really care. And go to tradersarmy.com today to learn a bit more. And if you want to see some of our other videos, click here in the box.